Welcome to video number one of Apache JMeter. Apache JMeter is something that gets used for load testing, something very similar like Load Runner or SOAP UI. The reason why we use Apache JMeter is because it's a pure 100% Java application. Now, when we talk about a pure 100% Java application, that just means that your capabilities and resources are to be low for this application to actually work. Now, this Java application called Apache JMeter, which we are looking at now, is mostly um, designed for low testing and the whole low testing functionality behind it, the uh, measurement and the behavior. Now, it was originally designed for testing web applications, but since it expanded, um, you know, there's been a, it's been used for more than just uh, web application uh, testing. Now, the reason why I'm on the uh, homepage is so, so that you can see actually where to get that. So you would go to jmeter.apache.org, and when you're on this website, I will show you exactly what you need to look out for, and also for you to understand the program before we can actually jump right into it. So Apache JMeter may be used for test performances, both in statistic, static, and dynamic resources, like... Uh, Perl script, Java object, data uh, based FTP servers, and 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 so there's so many um, you know different ways of of using um, Apache JMeter. Now there's a couple of stuff that Apache JMeter includes. Now it includes uh, web HTTP and HTTPS um, testing, SOAP, uh, database via, via JDBC, LDAP, JMS, um, and mail S SMTPS. Uh, POP3S and IM, IMAP-S, uh, native command um, or shell scripting. Now, um, like I said, it's purely JavaScript and that's kind of one thing that is quite important. Now, the thing about JMeter is Apache JMeter, it's not a um, browser and they kind of put that out for you because it's not a browser. As far as the web servers and remote services are concerned, JMeter looks like a browser or rather multiple browsers. However, JMeter does not perform of all actions supported by browsers. In particular, JMeter does not execute J, um, JavaScript found in HTML pages, nor does it render the HTML pages as a browser. So, you know, that's one thing that you um, that you got to understand about uh, JMeter. Now, um, a couple of things that is important to understand uh, will definitely found on the uh, homepage of Apache JMeter. I'm just going to click on the left hand side um, to the download release section. We're basically going to uh, download uh, the program and we're going to um, we're going to start using the program. So what you can do is you've got um, binaries and you've got source right here. Uh, two different ways of um, you know downloading and installing this um, this uh, program to use. So um, what we can do is uh, we can actually go and uh, download Apache JMeter 2.9 source TG, uh, TGZ and we can click on JMeter 2.9 TGZ. I'm just going to go and download those two. So once it's downloaded, it's going to be in a RAR folder or, a, or TGZ folder. I'm just going to close this. And you will see that if you open it up, you've got uh, all the relevant files of, um, of JMeter on your computer. If you open up the, the other one, you will have some very similar files, although it's just a more uh, different way of the files to be, uh, to be shown. Okay, so I'm just going to close this and go to my download folder where it has downloaded. I'm just going to cut these two files and put it in a separate folder. And once I've done that, I'm just going to extract it right here. Let it, let it do its job.
Okay, so now we have successfully uh, extracted the files and now the next step would actually be to get this thing to work, right? Because uh, there's no EXE folder uh, available for you and um, in the next video I will explain to you exactly how to install JMeter on onto your uh, personal computer or server and uh, then we'll definitely take it from there. But before we actually sign off on this specific video, I want you to go back to the overview um, of it and I need you to understand that um, JMeter is not a browser and it's quite important that you understand that um, JMeter is a free openware software and when it comes to free openware software you always be limited in some kind of way so make sure that you understand that go through the website and uh, make sure that you understand the user manual as well as uh, best practices however we will go through uh, every single of these uh, step by step this was video one where to find Apache JMeter